Well, it's been years in the making, and now a Memphis suburb will be DNX from the Bluff City. City Council members passed the resolution last night that would move the South Cordova community to Shelby County's jurisdiction. Here's Local 24 political analyst Otis Sanford with tonight's point of view. The rest of Memphis probably won't care, but the city council vote giving final approval to de-annexing South Cordova represents a major development for the city's future. Residents of South Cordova, like those in other recent annexation areas, never wanted to be part of Memphis. Their discontent caught the attention of state lawmakers, most of whom have no interest in anything that benefits Memphis. But in this case, Mayor Jim Strickland was willing to drop South Cordova from the city's boundaries on the condition that the move not take effect until 2021. Those residents would also receive a final supplemental tax bill for their share of the cost for infrastructure and city pension liabilities. In the end, both sides are getting what they want. The roughly 4,000 South Cordova residents are getting their freedom from Memphis and city government no longer has the burden of providing services to that sprawling area. Strickland has repeatedly talked about building up, not out. And this annexation, along with two recent others, will allow the city to focus more energy and resources on neighborhoods within the city's core. There is already tremendous momentum downtown with new business and residential growth. And the mayor pledged in his State of the City address to concentrate on Whitehaven and other areas that have long felt neglected. The bottom line is, Memphis may finally be growing in the right direction. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News. Well, we got